This is a late 80s Choach road bike. And um, I'll show you some of the details here. Here are the uh, handlebars. These are Chinelli. And it's stamped 66 44. The brake levers. Say Diacomp and the front brake again is Diacomp with Shimano brake pads. You can see the uh, pantographing here, the beautiful Choach uh, symbol, and uh, the campy shifters. You can see the pantographing on the top of the uh, stem here. Again, the, the pantographing on the frame and the identification of the metal used in the frame, the Columbus tubing. We also have a Diacomp rear brake, Campanolo quick releases. Ah, and Campanolo GS, which I assume is Grand Sport cranks, which are marked 9 sixteenths by 20. Or by yeah, nine sixteenths by twenty F. The front derailleur. I know there's a bit of a shadow here. The wheels, which are marked Ypsilon Oxide Strata. And these are Campanolo. Deep V rims. And uh, let me turn turn it around here and show you the rear derailleur. Alright, so here's the rear derailleur. Campanolo. And it's clearly marked Grand Sport. Sorry about the shadows. You can see that the cassette doesn't show much wear at all. I don't think this bike was ridden much. And uh, there's the front view of the uh, crank pedals, which are plastic pedals and uh, the front derailleur. It's got Continental Super Sport 700 by 20 tires which are a little bit old but they hold air just fine. And uh, this is just a gorgeous gorgeous bike. Now let's do a little measurement here and see what the See what the uh, seat tube, center of the tube to the center of the crank is exactly 25 inches. Sorry, I don't have a metric tape measure here. So there's that. And then the top tube is 23 and a quarter or so, maybe 23 and a half inches. So that's the top tube from the seat to the bars. And the down tube uh, from the center of the crank on up is right at about 25 inches or so. So that's from the crank up to 
the bottom of the uh, the stem. So it's a beautiful bike. It rides really well, and I suppose it's good for someone who is over six feet tall. Although I'm five nine and I really super enjoy riding it, it's not that safe for me. But it's something that I can really appreciate the uh, craftsmanship and the history. And Giovanni Pellizzoli himself made a comment on this bike when he saw some photographs of it that I posted on Flickr under Mike Levin, which is my uh, my uh, logon ID for Flickr. Flickr.com slash Mike Levin. You can see a, a set of photos on this choach. So there you have it. Beautiful saddle, uh, which if I ever sold this, I would keep uh, just because I like it so much. And um, yeah, it's just a joy. It's a wonderful, wonderful bike. Um, I guess one more measurement I can make is this uh, stem for the handlebar, which is, again, I'm sorry, this is in Imperial, but it looks like it's four and three quarters inches from the center of the hex nut to the center of the handlebars. Don't know how many millimeters that is, but uh, sorry for measuring and doing a video at the same time. But there you go. That's a late 80s choach, and it absolutely rides like a dream. So all you choach lovers out there, enjoy. All you road ride bike ride road bike lovers out there, enjoy. And visit the bike zoo on zoobird.com to see more beautiful vintage bikes and artisan bikes. Mike Levin, signing off.